Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Camp Meeting USA. Would you folks here at uh, Heritage USA give those people back at home a nice warm welcome to Camp Meeting USA tonight? They're with us tonight, too. I'll tell you, we have one of the most exciting hours that we have ever planned here at Camp Meeting USA. This group is something extremely special to me because I spent three years of my life under the tutorship of the man that's directing this ministry right here, Roger Breland. And Roger, come on out here if you would, please. Would you welcome him to Camp Meeting USA, Roger Breland. And I know that you know this, but I just want to let the people back home know that this is really something special to me that you're here. Well, you know, we're kind of proud of you, Bob, because <laughs> on TV, here you are, one of our own guys, and you're hosting this fabulous program. We're just letting well, you know, part of it. I learned, I learned a great deal under this man and under this ministry, and uh, he went through some real hard times trying to drag me into the 20th century sometimes. <laughs> but uh, We did a good job. Though. Well, you, you know, know I got I'm a tie on Bob. anyway. Oh, yeah, you I, look terrific. I graduated to a, tri a tie now. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> would you please welcome Roger Breland and Truth to Camp Meeting USA, and we'll just let them sing, all right? Thank you. We're glad to be here. Welcome them. Majesty, worship His majesty. So 
Roger Vreeland and Truth, and you'll hear more from them in just a minute. I would like to uh, make this a special offer to you folks back home, and I know we've talked about this before, but this is something extremely special, because Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. took a great deal of time to put the New Testament on tape, and we would like to make it available to you. And inside, uh, you will find many tapes. Now, this one only has one, because there are several different ways of getting this. Uh, for a $120 donation that will support this ministry and to keep music like truth coming into your home, we'll send you all of the tapes and this packet uh, right away. Now, for a $10 one-time tax-deductible do donation, we'll send you the first tape and this uh, handy cover that goes with it. And every time you send another $10 donation, we'll send you another tape until you get the entire series. But just ask for it by name, the special edition New Testament tapes read by Ephraim Zimblis Jr. And they would make an excellent, excellent Christmas gift for anyone, uh, anyone, believe me. As a matter of fact, uh, they're going to be on Truth's bus and uh, they'd, they'd make a, a great gift for anyone. I'm going to send it an, another set to uh, my grandmother and, uh, well, the, uh, the possibilities are limitless. Just simply write us, Camp Meeting USA, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28279, and ask for it by name. The New Testament tapes by Ephraim Zimblis Jr. For a $120 tax-deductible don donation, you can get them all. Or for a $10 donation, we'll send you the first tape with the cover. And that, that's that. All right? And again, Roger, I sure am glad that you're here. Well, we're glad to be here, Bob. And uh, we want to sing a special song because when you come on the grounds of PTL, it's not like anywhere else in the whole world. Especially now. You know, when you and I, uh, <laughs> when you and I used to come here, we they weren't in this great facility yeah. they're in now, and it keeps growing and growing. Every time we come, it gets better. Just in ten years' time, it's unbelievable. Ten years' time. So I think the song that we sing is appropriate because of what we're talking about and where we are. And the title of it is Holy Ground. We're standing on holy ground. And Kirk Sullivan has been with us for three years. He's from Moore, Oklahoma, sings the song. It's a great, great song. Well, let's just sit back and enjoy truth. God bless you. Let us pray.
song we just recorded and, and uh, Karen sings it's a new song written by Michael Smith but uh, but it's uh, Psalm 105 and Karen why don't you share a verse with us before I have to sing a song like that would you please oh I just praise the Lord for an opportunity to sing unto him and uh, I'd like to share a verse out of Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4 and it says the Lord has given me the tongue of a disciple that I might know how to sustain the weary one with a word. He awakens me morning by morning, and he awakens my ear to listen as a disciple. Thanks, Kira. Heard something about love recently that I really liked. And we came here tonight to tell you that God loves you. And some of you may not feel very loved today. But you know, God, God loves you today unlike any other day. He'll never love you more than he loves you today. And he'll never love you less. The Bible talks about that love when Jesus demonstrated his love for us at Calvary. You know, we become at times who we associate with. And being Christians, we are to become Christ-like. The song that we sing uh, talks about an association. It talks about the fact that as he comes into our hearts, we begin to grow and consequently begin to glow because of what he does on the inside. Mary Beth sings a solo. She's Minneapolis. 
The title of the song is We Get Lifted Up When We Praise the Lord. people to share the scriptures and, and the scriptures are literally changing our life as we ride our bus these days and I was a high school music director many years ago in a little rural town in Alabama called Op Alabama and we used to sing a song that is the psalm that Mary Beth shares quite often and would you share that psalm with us tell us where it's from and do that would you Mary Beth? It's found in Psalms 46. My God is my refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble Therefore we should not fear, though the earth fall away and the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though the waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This song has a very positive message. It simply says that He is the King. Will gather on that day. We will 
is born, a son is given. We've been doing this a long time, but for some, it happened much more quickly. But for truth, it took us 13 years, 2 million miles, 5,000 concerts. We recorded three, 30 records and about 400 songs, but this summer, thank God it happened, Paul and Linda sing the song, became the number one gospel song in America. Jesus never fails.
Amen. Amen. That's a great song. That's just the way he'll be in your life also, my friend. That Jesus never, never will fail you. He promised that he never leave us, he never forsake us, and never fail us. And over the years, a lot of us have tried a lot of things in this world. And we've filled our minds and our bodies up with some things that never really made us happy. We got a good song, and Linda sings a solo. As a matter of fact, we got a couple of North Carolina guys who play solos on this song. Now, Jamie from Forest City, he'll play a little guitar solo there. And then right after that, Lanny Cox from way up in Asheboro, North Carolina, he's going he's gonna to play a flute solo. But Linda sings a solo. The title of this song is I Want to Be So Full of You. Dove and she's from Royston, Georgia. And Linda, I want you to I want you to share a verse with us. You sing a song like I want to be so full of you. Give us a verse. Would you do that? I guess if you come to the point in your life where you're full of the Lord, then you can sit back and watch him direct your life. And in Micah 7, verses 7 through 9, it says, But as for me, I will watch in expectancy for the Lord. 
I will wait on the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Do not rejoice over me, enemy. Though I fall, I will rise. And though I dwell in darkness, my God is a light for me. It's a good verse, isn't it? Rick, this is Rick Briscoe. He's from Little Rock, Arkansas. Rick, why don't you share a verse with us right now? Would you do that? There's a verse in the Psalms that really means a lot to me. It says, He that dwells in the secret place shall abide in the shadow of him, and I will say that he is my strength. He's my God, and in him I will trust. Leah is our newest singer, and she's from Houston, Texas. Her folks have lived all over America. And Leah, why don't you give a verse to us tonight? Would you share with us? Psalm 73, 25 says, Who do I have in heaven but thee? And on earth I desire nothing but you, God. My flesh and my heart may fail, but I have made the Lord my God my strength and my portion forever. Good verse. Come on. This is Michael Wells, and he's from our hometown, Mobile, Alabama. And Mike and I started together. He was in my youth choir when I was a minister of music 100 years ago. And he started with us 13 years ago in our first group of truth. And he was away for about eight or nine years. He's been back for about three years now. This is his third tour since he's been back. And the Lord has done some great things in his life. He's our music director. As a matter of fact, the song we're about to do, he arranged for us. And he'll be conducting it. But uh, before we do all that, why don't you just share a verse with us tonight, would you, Michael? seems like Psalms is a good place to be in, so I, I found a verse about a month ago that really meant a lot to me, having been through some searching times since in 80, Psalm 84, and for me, it really speaks my testimony. I would rather be the doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than live in the tents of the wicked. You know, 1 Peter 1.24 talks about the Bible. It's what the Bible says about the Bible. It says that all men are like grass. And all their glory is like the wildflower. The grass withers and the flower falls, but the Word of God will stand forever. And this is the Word that we have preached to you. The song that we're about to do, well, as I shared with you, Michael arranged it for us. And Paul sings a solo, but the Lord Jesus wrote these words. You'll recognize it. It's the Lord's Prayer.
Johnny, why don't you step down here just a second? I, I want you to, I want you to say a word to these folks. Johnny is from uh, Shelby, North Carolina, and his dad, mom, and and Ken Folk are here tonight. And Johnny was one of those guys that uh, his dad's a minister of music, and he was just bound and determined that he was not going to be the kind of musician his dad is. He did not want to be a Christian musician or a religious musician, full-time Christian vocation. So Johnny's the kind of guy that had to take his trumpet and just do his thing for a while. But you see, he had one problem about doing his own thing. That is that his dad and his mom were praying for him. Now, if you're running from the Lord and your dad or your mom are praying for you, particularly if your grandmother's praying for you, you might as well hang it up because God's going to get you. Every time you turn the corner, God's going to be standing there waiting on you. So as they prayed for you, and that's what they did, isn't it? And as you were seeking a lot of things, what you ultimately found was peace and joy in Jesus. And John shares a good verse that talks about those kind of things. And I want you to share it with us right now, will you, Johnny? Yes, in um, Matthew 6, is a verse that really changed my life when I put it into practice. It says, Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you as well. Isn't it amazing how the scriptures are so very true? When you seek him first, all these other things will be added unto you. There's a scripture verse that says that, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things pass away, and behold, all things have become new. There's so many of us who really feel like that if we trust Jesus Christ as our Savior, we'll have to stop doing a lot of things that we like to do, and that's really not true. Because when you trust Jesus Christ, the very thing you thought you'd have to give up begins to slowly vanish away because you don't have time for the old because of all the new things that Jesus brings into your life. That verse, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away, and all things are become brand new. That can happen in your life tonight because it happened about 20 times in our lives. His name is Jesus, and this is a brand new song off a brand new record. And Karen sings a solo. I love this song. It says, His name will live forever. Oh, I 
Tennessee Elder Camp meeting tonight. And I hope the message and the music was more than really music. I hope there was something uplifting there for you and the love of Christ was evident because of what he's done in our lives. And by trusting in his Savior does not mean that all this is over. It simply means that all of us will fellowship together again with him one day. So we'll not say goodbye. We'll only say